Hello everyone. Are you majoring in biology, but you're not sure what you want to do after you graduate? Or are you thinking of becoming a biology major and you want to know what else is out there for you after graduation that's not laboratory jobs or going into medicine? In this video, I'm going to go over six great options for biology majors for careers that aren't laboratory work or medicine. If you're someone struggling with this decision right now, or you just want to see what else is out there for you, I completely understand. I was in your shoes too. I was a biology major and for a minute there, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do after I graduated. During my undergraduate time as a biology major, I had worked in a pharmacology lab as a laboratory assistant, assisting with lab tasks and research projects, and I quickly realized that lab work was not the path I wanted to follow. I wanted to interact with people more, and I wanted to do something that didn't involve so many little menial repetitions of the same task in order to get accurate trials. Now, there are plenty of people who may be a perfect fit for this kind of job, and I don't want to say anything bad about laboratory work because it is crucial to the advancement of science, but I knew it was not the job that I wanted. I also was not sure I wanted to go into medicine. I had worked a little bit in the medical field. I got my EMT license in college and worked as an EMT at a summer camp, as well as working in a doctor's office over the summers. And I'm glad I had this exposure to the medical career, but I also had other aspirations and I didn't want to be locked into that one singular path of going to medical school and then residencies and then fellowships for the next 10 or 15 years. I had a lot of friends who were pursuing this path and as a biology major, it gets, can get a little cutthroat because so many people are following the same path and applying to the same medical schools and trying to differentiate themselves on their resumes. But this was not for me. But before I graduated, I knew I wanted to get some real marketable skills that could get me a job. And that's one of the reasons I landed on my first role I'm going to talk about today, which is education. I have found so much joy in being a teacher. I was a teacher for 11 years, a high school biology teacher, and it was a perfect fit for my interests. I was fortunate enough to be able to get my teaching license as an undergraduate. I had a program at the university where I went where I could get my biology major and also take education courses so that as soon as I I graduated, I would be licensed to teach high school biology. Now, this did involve student teaching, putting together a portfolio, taking the practice, taking classes in the School of Ed, and I had to overload several semesters in order to get all this work done. But I did avoid having to go back for a master's in education. Now, if you're a biology major and you're wondering how could you do something similar, well, a lot of places will hire you without a teaching license, and you can pursue what's called lateral entry, where you work as a teacher while obtaining your license. There are also schools like private schools and charter schools that may not require you to have a teaching license when you go into the classroom for the first time. If you're considering going into education, I really recommend getting yourself into a biology classroom first or whatever subject that you want to teach. So offer to volunteer at a local school, ask a teacher if you can shadow them for a few days, or reach out to your former teachers in high school and see if you can drop by to really see what it's like from the other side. If you enjoy working with people, if you enjoy being creative and you don't mind a challenge and you're okay with the state of teacher salaries currently in the United States, then teaching could be a good fit for you. I found so much joy in it. There are a lot of cons, but I'll get into that in another video. My second career you could pursue is a clinical research coordinator. Now, these are individuals whose day-to-day -day is a lot of project management, and they may work with larger organizations to manage grants for clinical trials or keep track of projects for larger research organizations. As a biology major, you could be a good fit for this job because you have a better understanding of what might go into research and clinical trials. You may be very detail-oriented, and you may want to make an impact on the progression of science and medicine. So if you look for the job title, Clinical Research Coordinator, see what types of jobs are available and open near you. You're still into doing research, but you're not so much about the lab, a wildlife biologist could be a good fit for you as well. Now you probably want to get some experience out in the field before you pursue roles like this. So see if there's organizations that are looking for volunteers or local researchers who may need an intern. And that way you can get some experience doing field work, really getting your hands dirty, putting that biology degree to use. Another option if you like being outside is pursuing the career path of a park ranger. Again, this is another career that may not make the most money, but it can be very fulfilling for people who want to be outside, want to get involved in conservation work and are passionate about ecology, which many biology majors are. Now, if you like sharing your passions with others, but you're not quite sure you want to pursue the route of being an actual classroom teacher and doing the day-to-day -day grading and faculty meetings and dealing with parents, then you might be a good fit as an informal educator, somebody working for a museum or a camp or another science organization. 
There are plenty of great roles for biology majors who want to be educators in these places. Some museums do require an advanced degree if you're going to pursue the path of being a docent or be in charge of some of the research or exhibits that's done in the museum. But as far as educators go, a lot of museums or other informal education settings are always looking for people who want to educate and share their passion for biology. This is a great option to try out over the summer if you want to volunteer at a camp or museum and then you can see if it's gonna be a good fit for you for an actual career. Finally, the sixth career I wanna share with you today is the one I have ended up in. I'm currently a science writer. Now this encompasses a lot. The actual title is science curriculum designer, but I actually write educational video scripts for a popular ed tech company. But you don't have to just be a video writer in order to be a science writer. You could go into journalism, do freelance, be a creator yourself. It may be helpful to think about a master's in media or journalism if this is something that you're truly interested in, or or you could go the more technical route and pursue a master's in a field that you're interested in in biology and then use your expertise and practice clearly communicating your ideas through writing. Science writing and communication is such a critical role in our world today. I will say that even though I miss my students every day, I do find my role as a science curriculum writer to be really fulfilling, challenging, and interesting. And being honest here, the salary is better. So that's it for today's quick list of biology careers that you might wanna pursue that aren't medicine or laboratory work. If you want more information on potential medical careers to pursue, be sure to check out the video I have about that on my channel. I'll link it in the description below. Tell me in the comments what other careers you might be interested in as a biology major. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like if it's been helpful and I'll see you later.